Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation 8x plus 7 whole squared times 4x plus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 9 over 2. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. Since in the first expression we have 8x, so to make this 4x same as this 8x, we multiply this 4x plus 3 by 2. And to make this x the same as this 8x, we multiply this expression by 8. And because we have multiplied 2 times 8 at left hand side, at right hand side we multiply by 2 times 8. So this will become 8x plus 7 whole squared times 8x plus 6 times 8x plus 8 is equal to this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and this 9 times 8 will become 72 next 8x plus 7 whole squared times 8x this 6 can be written as plus 7 minus 1 times this 8x plus this 8 can be written as 7 plus 1 is equal to 72. Now we suppose that this 8x plus 7 is equal to y. That 8x plus 7 is equal to y. So this equation will become y squared times y plus 1 times y minus 1 is equal to 72. Now by using this uh, algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This will become y squared times y squared minus 1 is equal to 72. We distribute this y squared, y squared times y squared will become y to the power 4 and y squared times negative 1, negative y squared. Move this 72 to the left hand side, this will become negative 72 is equal to 0. Now this y to the power 4 can be written as y squared whole squared minus y squared minus 72 is equal to 0. Now suppose that this y squared is equal to t. Let y squared is equal to t. So this equation will become t squared minus t minus 72 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this t squared, t squared and we break this in negative t into negative 9 times t plus 8 times t minus 72 is equal to 0. From these two terms we can factor out t in bracket left t minus 9. From these two terms we can factor out plus 8 in bracket left t minus 9 is equal to 0. And this uh, t minus 9 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, t minus 9 and uh, in bracket left uh, t plus uh, 8 is equal to 0. From here either this expression t minus 9 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 8 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 9 and from this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 8. Now recall that recall that y squared is equal to t. Recall that y squared is equal to t. So when t is equal to 9 then this will become y 
squared is equal to 9 and when uh, y is equal to negative 8 then this will become y squared is equal to negative 8 and from this equation if we take square root of both sides uh, this implies that uh, y is equal to plus minus 3 it means uh, y is equal to 3 and uh, y is equal to negative 3 from this equation if we take square root of both sides this implies that uh, y is equal to plus minus the square root of negative 8 and this will become y is equal to plus minus uh, this uh, square root of negative 8 can be written as uh, root 4 times uh, root negative 1 times uh, root 2 and uh, y will be equal to plus minus uh, root 4 is 2 in this uh, root negative 1 is uh, i times uh, root 2 so we have four values of y y is equal to 3 negative 3 and plus minus 2 i times root 2 now to find the value of x uh, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 8x plus 7 is equal to y we have supposed that 8 times x plus 7 is equal to y 8x plus 7 is equal to y first in this equation we replace this y with this 3 so this will become 8 times x plus 7 is equal to 3 and we subtract 7 from both sides this will get cancelled out we are left with 8 times x is equal to negative 4 if we divide both sides by 8 this implies that x is equal to negative 4 divided by 8 and 4 1 time 4 2 times from here we get the value of x is equal to negative 1 over 2 now when y is equal to negative 3 then this will become 8 times x plus 7 is equal to negative 3 and we subtract 7 from both sides this get cancelled out we are left with 8 times x is equal to negative 10 divide both sides by 8 uh, this implies that uh, x is equal to negative 10 over 8 and uh, 2 5 times uh, 2 4 times from here we get uh, second value of x2 is equal to negative 5 over 2 now when y is equal to this uh, plus minus uh, 2 i times root 2 then this will become 8 times x plus 7 is equal to plus minus 2 times i times root 2 move this 7 to the right hand side this will become 8x is equal to negative 7 plus minus 2i times root 2 and if we divide both sides by 8 this implies that x is equal to negative 7 plus minus 2i times root 2 divided by 8 and this can be simplified as x is equal to negative 7 over 8 plus minus 2i times root 2 over 8 and this 2 1 times 2 4 times 8 so this will become x is equal to negative 7 over 8 plus minus i times root 2 over 4 from here we get third and fourth value of x x3 is equal to negative 7 over 8 plus i times root 2 over 4 and x4 is equal to negative 7 over 8 minus i times root 2 over 4 and the value of uh, x2 is equal to negative 5 over 2 
and x1 is equal to negative 1 over 2. So, we have a four solutions of this equation.